thing about when you've improvised something is you kind of know what kind of weird intention you had behind a line, whereas <laughs> if you just read the line, which yeah. is why this would be so interesting to, to, to see yeah. how the people yeah. do it, is because you go, that's a weird line, but I say it like this because I know it came from this deep, dark pocket of an improvisation which was about something completely different, but then we've repurposed that for this mm. purpose. So then when we're in the scene, if I want to embellish a little bit or if Adrian you know, says something else, we know what went... It's not just about the words, it's about like... Yeah, like the intention and, and those moments. Um, yeah, I think this is really interesting because it's almost like the acting comes first. Like I've been in plenty of rooms sure. with more of a dramaturgical hat on where you see people be like, you repeat this so you don't need to say that. You can cut that word, like da-da-da-da-da-da, who sort of want to go through and like razor everything down. But it's quite interesting when, yeah, when, when you've acted the line and then you've scripted it, you're like, oh, well, I say Uncle Eric two times because the first time I'm being super scary and then the next time I'm trying to like win him over, whatever it might be, that kind of, you know, boring actor work that you do <laughs> late at night with your pencil. But like, it is interesting that in that way, it's different to someone that might be like, just cut that mm. whole mm. bit. And the videos end up being quite useful in that mm. way because, so usually, um, Adrian is definitely does the lion's share of the of the of the typing things out, and she has an incredible skill for it. I, if Zoe and I are doing it, we're like, pause. Sorry, ah, oh, now we can go back, and it takes us so long. She can just watch and laugh and keep <laughs> typing, and then have a sip of coffee and then, ah, and just get it, like just blow through uh, an, an improvisation and just record everything and then has a good memory for like, oh, and then this bit was funny because of this, blah, blah, blah. So when it comes down to us, like, and I might get the, the thing that's been edited mm. down um, and I go, I don't know what this means. And you're like, oh, and then she gets up the video and you're like, you were a completely different character, but you were doing this and this is how you said it. I'm like, oh, yeah, right. So, so the videos end up being like, almost like a little brain reference for for like where that acting moment actually came from. Yeah, and I do find it useful to do the whole lot because we are going to be the ones that act it and you can really see sort of like where it came from. Mm. I think when Zoe goes through the improvisation, she definitely more like cherry picks mm. what she thinks might potentially in some way be useful. But yeah, I tend to... um because you can see like the seed of an idea planted 15 minutes mm. ago mm. and then it's like a callback in that moment and we crack up within the improvisation because you know, we've been existing in this liminal space for like the better part of an hour. <laughs> and, and definitely the, the impros are very verbose and long. And, yeah. and, then, yeah. and then what it, like the, that scene might end up coming, like that hour or two might end up coming down to a paragraph if used at all. <laughs>